Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at something which I unwittingly get asked about by a lot of people in the comments. So we can see here we have the Intel Nook that I have set up in two configurations, one with a single 8GB DIMM, the other with two 4GB DIMMs. And what we're using is just the Unigine Heaven DirectX 11 low detail test here, uh, Core i3, um, 5010U processor, HD 5500 graphics, so it's literally the same Windows install, same drivers, everything identical except for the memory configuration. And what we can see here is that we actually get a fairly significant decrease in performance just by having a single channel memory configuration. We're literally halving it, so down from 25.6 gigabytes a second to just 12.8 gigabytes a second. So halving the memory bandwidth available already on not a lot, you know, 25.6 gigabytes per second combined for the CPU and graphics in the chip um, is already quite low compared to even entry-level discrete cards. Now, what, why this matters is because a lot of laptops now, particularly those with 4 gigabytes of memory, but even some of those with 8, um, are shipping with only a single DIMM installed, so a single, one, uh, single 4 gigabyte or single 8 gigabyte DIMM. Um, and this means that if you're buying a laptop and you're hoping to play games, admittedly integrated graphics isn't really the way to go if gaming is your priority, but if you want some casual gaming, then you're just giving away performance unless you've got this dual channel memory configuration. I've also noticed with some laptops, they actually come only with a single DIMM slot or with soldered RAM and the RAM is only set up in a single channel configuration and you can't add to it because you don't have a slot to use or you only have one slot and you can't add anything in a second one. Um, so this is something which doesn't seem to get a lot of attention drawn to it but it's something where if you're looking at buying a laptop or ultrabook with um, integrated graphics and you do want to do some occasional game playing on it look out at the specs and if they state that it only has a single memory channel occupied so if it says one times four gigabytes or one times eight gigabytes in the memory configuration be aware that you're going to be giving up performance um, i've even seen this with a uh, acer laptop where they did an hd 4400 version with um, dual channel memory and an iris 5100 pro which had sorry an iris 5100 which had um a 2 gig and a 4 gig module which put it into a single channel memory configuration so despite it being a more powerful graphics solution in it which could use more power because of that memory configuration it actually produced lower levels of performance despite everything else in the laptop being the same anyway i hope you found this video useful be sure to check out more of our videos and subscribe if you think you'd like to see more from us in the future thanks for watching